What's poppin' T-Squad? It's your girl Keisha, and I'm here with tonight's All T All Shade, Married to Medicine, Season 7, Reunion Part 3. All right, y'all, I got some piping hot tea for y'all tonight. Um, So, everybody has been wondering why would Quad have Mariah and them in her wedding if she allegedly slept with Lake's husband? We were all wondering, what is the tea on that? So, on Mariah's uh, review on her YouTube channel last week on part one and two of the reunion, she had some behind-the-scenes clip of when she was backstage getting dressed or whatever or doing one of the breaks um, while they were filming the reunion of Lake talking about the entire situation involving Quad. So here is the tea that we have all been waiting for. We finally get to hear the tea out of Lake's mouth herself. Here it is. Here you go. They're going to show my family that the least they can do is give her the same respect that they give the other women and allow her to at least defend the truth. All Let's just say pretend to be beautiful and they come. I'm going to say this. This is the last thing I'm going to say about this. I wouldn't have ever brought it up. As you know, I didn't come around your group of friends for about four or five years until she brought it up. Until she was mean yes. And until she was mean to you. I had forgiven her. I forgave her because I forgave my husband. And if I can take him back and have another child, then why hold her hostage? Yeah, but when I see that now. all the forgiveness that my family has extended to her, and, she and that, that she shit. still will attack my blood, my sister, like that, that's the kind of hurt that nobody here know about. Nobody knows the kind of hurt that I felt and that I've dealt with in my life. That's why she and that I had to sit to, to the though. side she sweet to and watch her she treat, me like treat she, my sister. But she been, she you know what I'm saying? She been sweet nobody, to you Nobody gets that. But if I've forgiven you, and if I can pray, if I can pray with you, and I can hang out with you, and go to wedding. your wedding. But when I looked at that woman who broke up my marriage, got married, she didn't break I, marriage up. She was a part she of was it. She was part of it. She, it was different. But you can't because blame it all different. on her. No, yeah, it's different. You can't blame it all but let me tell you the part that I can tell you. You married. If it's some but woman out in the street that I don't know about, it's one but thing. But she was supposed to be out. When you had been in my family, and when I helped pay your bills too, and asked my cousin, to pay your bills when you were struggling, when I've gone to bat for you, all the time she was struggling and stuff, and she, I mean, y'all just, but she just was, and so I wanted Lake to be around, because if any one of these ladies was going to bring up her, her ex, her marriage, or anything related to her family, I think that she should be the one to defend it, because I'm damned if I do, and I'm damned if I don't, so I want, I think Lake is the perfect person to do. There you have it, so... Apparently, she forgave Quad for whatever transpired between Quad and her husband. It came out the woman's mouth. What woman is going to go around saying you slept with her husband and be lying about it? That makes her look crazy and makes her look like a fucking deranged fool. I've been telling y'all for the longest that that woman slept with that girl husband. Now, the fact that she was able to forgive her and continue to try to be friends with her, that's a hell of a woman, bitch. <laughs> that was a hell of a woman. But like she said, if I could forgive my husband, I could forgive her. Hell, motherfuckers do strange shit all the time. She look at Chloe and Tristan and that fucking situation with little mama, whatever. She back even still hanging around Tristan after all the humiliation he didn't gave her. You just never know how motherfuckers move and the choices that they will make. So like I told y'all, I've been saying that, that that girl fucked that girl husband, but like I said, they was able to make up and even you heard in the video, Quad, I mean, Mariah sticks up for Quad and so you can't blame Quad on there. You can't blame the woman. You know, you gotta, you know, it ain't just her fault or whatever. Um, and Mariah comes out of her mouth and says that's the reason why she was bringing her sister around while they were filming. So if anything came up, Lake could beat her to say her side of the story. So once again, Quad had the opportunity to confront the situation if she didn't do it, which we all know she did now for a fact. And she didn't take it because she knew what she did and she does not want that shit to be talked about on fucking camera. Also, um, here is a screenshot of the police report from that night when Lake and her got into a fight. So the police report says on... September 16, 2010, at 11.45 hours, 
well, 11 or one, one, well, you know how them hours be in military time, whatever. Um, the victim, Quad, Quadrea, is that how you say her name? Quadrea, Quadrea, or how the fuck you say her real name, Webb arrived at, and you know, they have the address blacked out. Webb stated that on November 16, 2010, at approximately 1300 hours, but at approximately 1300 to 1330 hours, she pulled into her driveway located at blank when the suspect, Lakita O'Shorin, so her real name is Lakita, ain't no goddamn lake. <laughs> Lakita pulled up behind her, blocking her in. O'Shorin, whatever the fuck her last name is, ex exited her vehicle and approached Webb on her property. Webb stated that Lakita started yelling at her about sleeping with her husband. Webb said that the argument escalated and then Lakita struck her in the left side of her face. Lakita then left the scene. I spoke to Lakita via the telephone. Lakita said that she was in the area to work with the client. Lakita said that she saw Webb and stopped to speak to her. Lakita advised that her and Webb got into an argument. Lakita said that Webb spit in her face, so she pushed Webb. I advised both to not contact each other due to a lack of physical evidence and no other witnesses, no arrests were made. So that is the police report for that ass. So... For all of you naysayers, I don't believe she did it. I don't believe she did it. She fucking did it. That's why she tried to accuse Mariah of drug use to take the fucking heat off of her ass. But all right, believe what you want to believe, folks. All right. So, on tonight's reunion, heavily, uh, we pick up exactly where we left off with them. Heavily escorted. It was escorted out by Contessa when her and Simone started arguing. Simone said, if she dragged my husband, I'm going to drag Damon right along with him. <laughs> Andy dismisses the men after their segment. Heavily comes back in and Toy said, you don't know how to treat people that are your friend. That's why Jack left the room. And... Uh, heavily then grab Simone's hand and get down on her knees with her drink in her hand because I told y'all she a drunk bitch her and her drunk ass pussy you know that bitch say drunk Simone said you know you knew I wanted him to get a job America didn't know and I was like America did know but okay heavily say I love you but America did know you said it at the reunion they fall to the floor and hug and quad get on top of them riding them like a goddamn bull the couples plus quiet then go back on stage and Andy points out that Simone and Heavily made up backstage. Simone say we still got, you know, baby steps to make, but you know, it is what it is. So a viewer points out that Jackie won't stop working and that Curtis shouldn't believe that she ever will. He says he respects her drive. Nigga, them niggas gonna be in the same motherfucking position they was in a few years from now because he gonna get tired of sitting around thumbing his fingers together, waiting on her to show him some motherfucking attention. It seems to me like Jackie is just a asexual, career-driven, type A personality. She just seems like she has no drive or passion about nothing except for her career. And I think it's partly in due for the fact that she never got to have the kid that she wanted. And she just don't see it for Curtis. Like, I think they just need to leave each other the fuck alone because that marriage is dry as fuck. So, um... He gonna be right back cheating or he gonna leave her ass. He gonna eventually get tired and leave her. Um, so Andy brings up to quiet that Gregory might still be in love with her. He asks she's still in love with him. And she say, I was happy, but sad that he still speaks to me that way. To her, that does have an effect on me. You know, she got the channel. I owe Viola Davis and Angela Bassett because that bitch wanna be on the motherfucking Golden Globes herself. So Ramadan is brought up and Mariah is uh, trash and quiet. So Mariah say, we didn't. I apologize if that's the only part they showed. And it was very offensive to me and my family. Andy say, that's a great deflect. You did trash talk quiet. And Mariah say, what did I say about quiet at the meal? They showed that it was her mom and late talking. Now, granted, Mariah didn't say anything about quiet, but she didn't shy away from her family talking about her. And she found it funny. Like, let's keep it a book. Bitch, you found it funny. And you was kind of like, go ahead with it, bitch. Go ahead with it. <laughs> but no, she herself didn't say nothing. But like, come on, a spade is a spade, Mariah. So, Kawhi said, you encouraged him. Mariah said, I told him to shut it down. And we didn't see that, but she probably did, you know, say it to make herself look good on camera. Like, y'all stop or whatever. 
So Mariah said, I told them to shut it down. Andy said, your sister called Quad a hoe. Mariah said, I told her this isn't the time or place. Quad said, I couldn't believe that with God present that, that they would obsess about me. Mariah says to Andy, shame on you. The only time they've shown my Islamic family, you think I want to talk about Quad? Andy said, but it was shown. Mariah said, I didn't say it. The Quad said, you encourage it though. Mariah said, I don't want to talk about you doing Ramadan. <laughs> I shut it down. It was three hours long. They showed one snippet. I wasn't talking about you. I didn't want anybody to talk about you. I wanted them to show what Ramadan meant because it's hard. And then she starts tearing up and crying. And at this point, I really think that they would have had a genuine connect and a come to Jesus moment if Aiden and if Aiden and Andy wasn't fucking butting in. Kawhi was like, Mariah, Mariah. You can tell that she wanted to have a genuine moment with her. Aiden tries to speak, and Andy wants him to speak on the situation. And Kawhi said, you know, I'm done with it. And Andy, Aiden says, you can be done with it, so be quiet. Heavenly said, you can't talk to a woman like that. <laughs> Andy said, he's not trying to disrespect you. Can you please be quiet? Even he was saying, be quiet. I hate when they get to talk about somebody, a man can't tell you to be quiet. Ain't like he called her a bitch. He told her to fucking be quiet. Like, get over it. So Aiden say, that's not what happened. Andy say, it was 10 seconds out of 18 hours. Mariah starts to cry. She says, it's bullshit because nobody ever tells the truth. I don't even talk about religion on this show because we don't have that kind of support. And what we do is make fun of. Some uh, quiet is like, I ain't never made fun of your family. I would never do that. I would never make fun of your religion. And Tori was like, she's talking about what Heavenly said her children don't know what they are. I don't remember that ever happening, but... If she said that off camera or on camera, that's some low down dirty shit for heavenly to say about that damn girl kids. Like, girl, shut your big mouth ass up. Oh, I can't stand her looking like she belonged at the St. Louis Aquarium. Girl, oh, I can't stand her heavenly. So during one of the commercial break, Kwai said to Mariah, I done seen all your hoo-ha and Mariah say, now you're telling me. She was like, I just did. And it was a cute, genuine moment between them. They always have those good moments, but you can just tell that so much has been said between them two and their pride and ego is in a way, but they want to be friends with each other. And if they ever do become back friends, they could be an unstoppable force on this show. If they put their bullshit aside, they could run this motherfucker. They would they make they would make more money together than separately, but these hoes are stupid. So then contestant segment comes up. Andy asks who she who she, thinks she shouldn't have went to school out of state and Toya raises her hand. Andy asks, is it a double standard between husband and wife when it comes to raising the children and stuff? And the women say yes. Andy brings up Scott, bad talking contestant in front of the kids. He says he didn't realize what he was doing until he saw it on television. Contestant says she'll be done with her program by the summer. Congratulations to her. Andy brings up Scott, making her give up the military. She tears up because, you know, it was something that she really loved and wanted to do. Heavily says her marriage is better than most. And Quiet was like, better than whose? And she was like, yours? And Mariah was like, oh. and you see Quiet didn't say shit back. I was like, girl, it wouldn't have been me. So, Toy says that she wants to have a threesome with Alicia Keys. And I was like, I bet you do, because that bitch eat more pussy. <laughs> They're Ellen generous. So, uh, peak at season two of Married to Medicine LA is shown. Like, it's going to be really good. I was happy to see Heavenly going to get cussed out. Anytime Heavenly get cussed out is a good day for me, bitch. So that's my review on Married to Medicine Reunion Part 3. Reunion Part 3, overall, I give it like a B minus. It was cool for what it was. It really could have just been a two and a half hour um, reunion that we ended last week, but whatever. Let me know what y'all think about the tea I spilled tonight on Lake and Quad situation. What do y'all believe now? Let's talk down below. Make sure to thumbs up this video, like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell button so you know my motherfucking videos drop. And subscribe. God damn it, it's lit over here. Love y'all. Bye.